It's a very tough day for her, but quite clear about what she has to achieve tomorrow. She is a British international in her own right in the long jump, so that could be a terrific event for her. As far as Avalon is concerned, well, in the major championships she's contested, she has always used the goods. It was effectively her javelin throw in Victoria in 1994, which won her the gold medal there. Javelin throwing in Atlanta was absolutely superb. And then the 800 meters, where the last few times out in heptathlon competition, she's improved her personal every time. So Stuart, certainly a medal, whether it be the gold or not, don't know at this stage, but it's not out of question she can leapfrog over rest. No, absolutely right. I think her long jump, uh, 667, her best uh, set last year, uh, 1995. She has a 677, a uh, windy. That is a good event, and she must start the day well with that uh, and make sure that she gets 650, 660, because she will need to perform at that level, near a 60, I would think, to start to move ahead and make up for that uh, problem uh, in the 100-meter hurdle. And her javelin, well, it's a pretty good throw she's got, 56-50. And that might intimidate the others a little bit. Uh, she certainly can hurl the stick. It's a good, strong day for her. And as she herself says, as you just said, um, she's improving day by day, or race by race, over 8 meters. So she's shown that uh, she can do it in the past. And this is an occasion for her to do better. I remember the personal best she set in the last time, the last uh, major championship. Can she do it again? I think she can. Del Bun, her coach, I certainly will do it. He's seen how well it's performed here today. Great shame about that hurdles race first thing this morning. But at quarter past eight, I dare say we can f forgive her that. And it's 25 minutes past 10 local time here in uh, Athens. So it has been a very long day, but an intriguing situation as we move towards day two of the heptathlon with Denise Lewis in fourth place. Well, if you haven't been with us since 6.25 this morning, there's one or two things perhaps we ought to catch up on and that you may not have seen. And one of them is the women's 400 metres semi-finals and we'll that right, right now. Empty, man. Goes away well. Who's the first to show? Rook has gone off very quickly on the outside. But so too is Pauline Davis, Bahamas. She really is busting it. In lane three, Kathy Freeman, the Australian, working hard on the back straight. And Freeman, it probably is, in the lead. So is right up on Miles Clark. Determined to make a point to the uh, former world champion. And it's Freeman now. Four, if I remember. Freeman, the Australian. Miles Clark's right there. Okoya of Nigeria. These three there. And Freeman can afford to relax a little bit. Four, if I Miles Clark is relaxed, he's very experienced. Miles Clark, Freeman, Hogan Clare, and look like Pauline Davis coming through in fourth place. Those are the four into the final tomorrow. 50.05, and Freeman relaxed. She didn't matter whether she was first across the line. Qualifying was what mattered. Miles Clark, she's now 30. Freeman here, fairly bouncing along. A lovely athlete. The first ever Aborigine to represent Australia in the Olympic Games. And of course, then took her gold, double gold in the Commonwealth Games in Victoria in 94. And really, the fact she's over 10 here doesn't matter because she relaxed. Ogunkoya and Miles Clark together. Miles Clark got it. Ogunkoya second. Freeman third. And Davis was the other athlete to qualify.